Hey guys, do you have a favorite animal? Cause I'm a huge animal lover, especially species like Pokemon. So today, I'm going to introduce you my partner Pikachu. My Pikachu was born in 2018. Like everybody knows, it's an electric type mouse Pokemon. He's about one foot tall and six kilograms. Its shape and size slightly changes by which version you adopt from. I also think Pichu is really cute. You know, before Pikachu evolves. A cute small baby mouse Pokemon. Ooh, I can't resist the sweetness. Most of the Pikachu trainers would know Pikachu's tail is really sensitive. They use it to sense what's around like a raider. I got bitten before by accidentally grabbing the tail when I first met him. Also, I always think Pikachus are smart. One time, I gave my Pikachu a very thick food that was hard to eat. He cooked himself a meal with electricity. Maybe Pikachu might be more intelligent than humans. Perhaps someday, they might even rule the world. <gasps> They're so adorable! Pikachu's electric cheek pouch is a well-known common sense to everyone. So when my Pikachu's cheek starts sparking, I try to make distance from him so I don't get paralyzed. Pikachu's electricity does save many lives. Did you all see the news? The part where Pikachu saved the person from a heart attack with its powers. There was this environmentalist saying, let's shut down the nuclear power plants and generate electricity by cooperating with Pikachu? But I think that's a little cruel. I mean, look at these fluffy cheeks and all. The more energy it has, the more rubbery it is. Ooh, I want to touch my Pikachu's cheeks so badly. Even though I know I have to be careful. Oh, I, want, I just want to shoot him all day. Many people will feel relatable when it comes to owning a Pokemon indoors. Well, since my Pikachu is a mouse Pokemon, his fur falls out a lot. Oh, did you know? A new Pokegroom vacuum cleaner is out on Dyson! So, I'm recently saving money for it. Especially, my Pikachu has extra fur more than others. I could even make a real-sized plushie out of it by brushing him. Because of that, one of my friends who's a Pokemon trainer told me he'll be bringing a furless Pokemon. Like, Mew. I haven't seen him ever since. Some people are allergic to Pokemons, but since most of the places are Pokemon friendly, I sometimes find them complaining in the neighborhood. There's also problems about stray Pokemons. I recently volunteered at a stray Pokemon shelter. There were so many cute babies at the shelter. You too can volunteer at a stray shelter near you. It used to be that Pokemon rights were not a common thing to talk about. We ate Pokemon meat in front of our Pokemons and even fed them as their food. Recently, the no Pokemon meat social movement has taken off in Europe. So the perception of Pokemon meat doesn't look very good. Hmm, I haven't seen a single Slowpoke's tail recently. Having mouth as a dish does not make you flexible! Whatever it is, I think abuse of Pokemon should be strongly punished. How could they be so mean to these precious creatures? I hate human. My Pikachu was adopted in 2018. So he has the Pokemon configuration of that time. I heard there are different versions of Pikachus getting adopted, and its size and weight are slightly changing too. Gigantamax is already disappearing into the past. 70 feet tall Pikachu used to be pretty cute. But most of all, my partner is the cutest Pikachu to me. <sighs> Today was another day with my cutie. Okay Pikachu, let's get you back to my imagination. Bye guys, I'll see you around.